Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Edge version 138 has arrived, which is now the latest release. And after the update has been applied, version and build is sitting on 138.0.3351.55. And the update was made available yesterday on the 26th. That was late yesterday in my part of the world. Now we do get a couple of new improvements and fixes. Now, first of all, Edge has received three security fixes for the browser itself. And two of them are addressing spoofing vulnerabilities. And one of them is addressing an elevation of privilege. So three Edge-specific security fixes have rolled out. And then we get our Chromium security fixes, which for this week include 11 security fixes. One of those is a medium the rest are lows, thankfully no high severity, critical or any zero days exploited in the wild. So 11 Chromium security fixes have rolled out. Then over and above the security fixes, there are two bug fixes that Microsoft has made available. The first is they fixed an issue which caused the web driver automation to fail in Edge versions 133 and later. So we are currently on 138. And the second fix is Microsoft fixed an issue where re-enabled text area elements remained non-editable. Apparently, this issue affected activating a role assignment in privileged identity management. So that sounds more like um, Edge for Business. But nonetheless, two fixes have also rolled out with this update. Now, we've got a couple of uh, feature updates and improvements. And just to mention at the outset that all of these improvements basically are rolling out gradually. So you may see them with this update. You may not. So just making you aware of that. First of all, Microsoft says that Edge 138 now has an AR-powered history search. So when it does roll out, I haven't received it yet, but if we head to our history page. So what this feature will do is it will basically allow you to find sites in your history using synonyms, phrases, or misspelled words. And Microsoft says that it's using an on-device model, which does not send your data anywhere. So that's according to Microsoft. And as mentioned, the feature is rolling out gradually, so it can take a couple of days, even weeks to arrive. So AI-powered history search is now rolling out with this update. And then we've got improvements to surfacing performance notifications, where Edge is now making improvements to how you can learn about and improve your browser's responsiveness. Microsoft says that performance and extensions detector notifications may appear in the settings and more menu when Edge's performance slows down or dips. Once again, this feature is on a controlled rollout, so just check out for that over the next coming days and weeks if you haven't received it. Now, here's one I actually posted on, I think it was yesterday, where autofill settings have now received a new consent toggle which allows Microsoft to improve autofill capabilities by collecting field names as you browse. Now I posted a whole video on this yesterday. I'll leave it linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like more info. And this was a toggle that was available in Canary which arrived yesterday in my region and already today in 138 using a control rollout is making its way to the stable. So that was quite fast. But Basically, what this is all about, I'm just going to pop over to Canary because once again, it's on a control rollout and I haven't received the feature yet. So if we head into our settings and we head to personal info on passwords and autofill. And by the way, there are big changes coming for wallet and all that um, in Edge. Check the video out for more info. Here is the toggle that Microsoft is referring to. Allow Microsoft Edge to improve autofill suggestions by collecting field labels in web forms. Edge collects field labels only and not data you type in the fields. And this is on by default. So if you are concerned about privacy, you can always toggle this off. And this only applies to field names such as first name, email, etc. and so on. So rolling out gradually like most of the features with version 138. And then two more new improvements just to mention for the purpose of this video. 
Now, once again, both of these are rolling out gradually where there is now Microsoft 365 Copilot chat summarization in Microsoft Edge in the context menu. So basically, if you are visiting a website when the feature makes it to my device or your device if you're not seeing it in the right click context menu you are going to see a summarization menu item in that context menu basically using copilot chat and microsoft says the feature helps you to unpack and ask questions about the open page rolling out gradually as mentioned and the last one just to mention for this video which i think may be of benefit and interest Copilot is now on the Microsoft Edge new tab page. Now, this started in May, which was last month. So that was a month ago. And I'm still not seeing this, but it is rolling out gradually, where you may see suggested work and productivity related Copilot prompts by the search box on the new tab page. Microsoft says you also may see the Copilot icon in your search box allowing you to click on the icon to send your current search query to copilot now it's a month later and i'm still not seeing that so that's also rolling out gradually unfortunately can't really show you this stuff in real time because all on a phased rollout but if i get knowledge that these features have arrived and then i may post one or two little videos um, just highlighting the actual feature from time to time so once again, that's more or less what's new in this latest version of Edge, version 138, which rolled out yesterday on the 26th of June. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.